Hey guys, uh, Shane Windsor here. Um, I am a former competitive jump roper and I spent about 25 years competing um, in the amazing sport that is jump rope. Um, really excited to be working with you guys today. Uh, while I no longer compete, I do jump rope all the time still for fitness and for fun. And I'm really excited to be able to show you guys um, some of my favorite tricks, uh, skills, and workouts. So hope you guys have a good time. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Let's get to it. So we're going to do a couple of quick stretches together, um, so just go ahead and follow after me. Uh, the first thing I want to start with are some arm circles. We'll put our arms out to the side, make some small circles moving backwards. And then as we go, we're going to go a little bigger and a little bigger with the circles. So we're doing full big rotations. We'll do three or four here and then we'll stop and do the same thing forwards. So nice little guys go ahead to start, get a little bigger, a little bigger. And big full rotations for about three or four. Perfect. And then we're going to take our right hand, we're going to put it across our chest, and then grab this elbow and gently pull it across our body. We should feel this in our shoulder and our bicep, the top of our arm. And we'll switch sides, left arm across, gently pull on that elbow across your body. Perfect. And now we're going to do the back of our arm, our triceps. We'll take our right arm, put it over our head. Again, gently pull that elbow across our body to the opposite side. We can even lean to the side a little bit if we want to. And we'll go ahead and switch. Left arm across behind your head. Gently tug on that elbow. Perfect. And from here, we're going to take our right leg, bring our heel up to our booties. This is a quad stretch. We're stretching the front of our legs, the, hand, the, the quadricep muscles there. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. Skill for balancing, good practice. Okay, perfect. Next, we're going to straddle our legs pretty far, about three feet, depending on how tall you are, I guess. We're going to reach down towards the ground, see if we can get those fingertips all the way to the ground. We're going to walk our hands all the way over to our right foot. Grab those toes, grab those shoelaces, whatever you can reach. all the way over to the left. Same thing, reach for those toes or your shoelaces. We'll spend a couple seconds here. And we'll walk it back to the middle one more time. We're gonna hang out here for just a few seconds. See if you can get those pumps flat to the floor. And then from here, we're actually going to walk out to stretch our calves. I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see. You know, have a nice kind of pike position here. We're going to be able to press one heel into the ground at a time. We can just kind of alternate back and forth here a little bit. We should feel this stretch all the way down the back of our leg. From just above our knee, all the way down to our heel. I think we're all stretched out, which is good. So now I'm going to do a couple of movements. Um, we're not going to use a jump rope yet, but we're just going to warm our bodies up, get the blood flowing a little bit. Um, so first I want us to do 10 hops on our right foot all together. Ready, set, go. 10 hops. 8, 9, 10. And we're going to switch to our left. 
Nine, ten, perfect velocity, ten jumping jacks all together. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The final movement we're going to do here are called pop up. So we're going to take one little small jump, go down to the ground, jump into the air. We're going to do that ten times all together. Okay? Ready, set, go. Down and up. Down and up. Seven. Eight. We got two more. Nine. Big jump up number ten. All right, nice job, guys. Let's go ahead and grab our ropes and we will move on to uh, some skill work. Okay guys, so great, you've got your ropes, we're ready to learn some tricks. Um, we're going to do a little progression here, meaning that we're going to learn um, one trick that kind of we will build off of um, for a more difficult trick. So we're gonna start with um, something called a peekaboo. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think you guys will get it no problem. Um, while jumping, we're going to take one foot at a time. So we're gonna start with our right foot and just bring it out to the side, bring it back into the middle. And then we'll do the same thing with our other foot. Left foot back to the middle. So I'll show you guys what that looks like and then I'll give you a second to try it. We go, ready, set, go. Right foot out, left foot out, right foot out. Left foot out. We can do no jumps in between if we want to. Right, left. Oops. If you mess up, no big deal. Keep going. Right, left, right, left. So go ahead and give that a try. Perfect. And then the way that we're going to build off of this is by moving both feet at once. So instead of one at a time, we'll do both at the same time out at the together, in together. This is what we call a side straddle. So it looks like this. Go ahead and give that a try. Now, perfect. Um, great work, you guys. Now, we're going to inspire Continue with the side straddle, but instead of bringing our feet back together, side by side, we're going to bring them back with a cross in our feet. So um, I'll show you guys what that looks like first uh, without my rope, and then I'll show you what it looks like with my rope. So we're going to go out at the same time, together, but this time my right foot is going to land in front of my left foot. And then on the next jump, we're going to go out to the side again. And then before, when we bring them back, we're going to cross again, but this time my left foot is going to come in front, so it looks like this and then back open. And then we just repeat that um, for as long as we want to. So now I'll show you guys what that looks like with my rope. Ready, go. Right leg in front, left. Right, left. Right, left. Great, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to go ahead and practice that. Okay guys, great, so we're gonna move on. We've got two more tricks left uh, to go over in this session. Um, again, we're gonna build off of this first one um, to complete a more difficult trick for the second one. So we're gonna start with what we call a high knee or a leg lift, where we'll be jumping. We'll bring one leg up at a time, um, first our right, then our left. Um, we're gonna try and bring our knees all the way up to about hip level so that we're making a right angle between the top of our leg and the bottom of our leg there. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Ready, set, go. Right leg up, left leg. Right leg, left leg. And we can take jumps in between if we need to. Right leg, take as long here as you need. Left leg, right leg, left leg. Okay guys, go ahead and give that a try for the next couple of minutes. Okay guys, great work. Um, now the final trick in the sequence that we're gonna learn. So we just did the knee raise, right? Instead of bringing it, um, sort of build off of this, instead of bringing our leg right back down to the floor, um, after it's up, we're gonna touch our toe out in front of our body to the ground. Um, we'll, we'll kind of rotate our body slightly uh, to be able to make that contact with the floor and then come right back, um, leg back up 
and then down by our sides. So first I'll show you um, what that looks like without my rope, and then we'll do it with my rope. So ready, set, go. Knee up, toe down, knee up, back to our side. Left leg, knee up, toe down, back up, down to our side. So this is what it looks like with the rope. Ready, set, go. Lot to think about there while you're moving through it. Just remember each um, each one of these is four parts, right? So we've got one jump here, two, three, four. So it's four jumps to make one one um, component of this trick. So keep that in mind as you guys are working through this. I know it's going to make you tired, but that's all part of the fun. So go ahead and give that a try. Hi everybody. My name is Mary Liddell. I'm on the Coronado Speed Spinners Jump Rope Team and I'm going to be leading you guys in another workout. So today we're going to be doing a card workout and I'm going to explain the card workout in a second but first I thought I would show you some tricks. I've been coming for eight years. Okay, so now we have a face card that is a part. 
backwards. So I want everyone to do 20 backwards jump steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank <laughs> you. 